33 days ago, they were killed by a bank robbery suspect on the run. This Mother's Day, family members gathered at what is now a permanent memorial for the victims. Two moms, Janice Flores and Kimberly Aragon Nunez. News 13's Jeff Todd was there. It's the first time the families of Janice Flores and Kimberly Aragon Nunez spent Mother's Day without them. On April 6th, police say Jeremiah Jackson took the turn at Coors and Quail too fast. He hit the car Kim and Janice were in, killing both of them. Kim left behind three kids, Janice, two. It's hard to see my daughter go through what she's going through right now. It's a very difficult time for her right now. On this Mother's Day, Janice's family came to make the memorial to the women more permanent. In late April, a co-worker removed one of the crosses to clean it after a rainstorm. Today, Oscar Adame, the father of Janice's oldest daughter, securely replanted the cross he made. The cross was made for Janice and a lot of her friends to sign it and send some messages out to Janice. And when it was gone, it, I was really upset. I really thought somebody had took it. Janice's daughters did not take part. Adame says they're still hurting. I uh, would have really liked, you know, my daughter and her sister, Janice's two little girls, to actually come by and be a part of this. But we're here for them. I think the whole family just needed to get together in a positive light. And um, we're just really happy to do this. Janice's family also planted a rose bush. Roses are just forever, and Janice will always be remembered in our hearts forever. Jeff Todd, KRQE News 13. The gas station gave the family the okay to plant the rose bush. The city's only request was to make sure it was three feet away from a nearby fire hydrant. The man who allegedly killed the two mothers, Jeremiah Jackson, is still in federal custody. His attorney is apparently seeking a plea deal in the case.